I'm going to break it down. The first thing you do is a safe start. Make sure your brakes are engaged in the set position. Transmission neutral. ABS on and off. Operate your clutch. Build up your air to governor cutoff. You can bump up your RPMs to help it build up air. Here is good. I had my window cracked and I was listening. I heard the cutout. We're good to proceed. Since you still have your clutch in, you can put it into gear to move your vehicle into starting position. Gently release the clutch so as not to dump the clutch. This is dumping the clutch. Move your vehicle forward until the DOT bar clears the first cone. Clutch in and brake. This is starting position. Once you're ready to go and you have a plan, shift into gear. If it feels like it's gnashing up, let off the clutch gently until she goes in. Go ahead and do your straight back with the wheel straight. This is an example of the wheel being in a straight form. Scenario. Your trailer is starting to get away from you on the left side. You steer into it, fix it, or fight it by giving it wheel left. Just one wheel turn will do. We are back in straight position. Scenario two. Your trailer is getting away from you on the right side. You steer into it, fix it, or fight it with wheel right. Just one turn will do. We're now back in straight position. Scenario three. You've oversteered on the wheel right and your position is exaggerated. You pause, take a moment to think about it. You can do a get out look at this point to see exactly where you're going and take a different perspective on it if you need to. I've used three points of contact getting out facing the cab to do my get out look and take a look at the outside. We can clearly see the vehicle is out of line. The trailer has escaped to the left of the orientation when you're facing front ways. We'll give a wheel left to fix this. When there's a lot of slack in your form, it's entirely acceptable to use multiple wheel turns to fix it. This is straight position. Give it a go now. vehicle is now in straight position. Scenario 4, you've given it too much wheel left and the form is exaggerated. Use multiple wheel turns to catch up and fix the slack. We're now in straight position. Scenario 5. Your vehicle is in a straight line, but it's at the wrong angle or it's not straight with your lane. The best way to fix this and the safest is to do a pull forward. Shift into gear. Pull forward. You will see the angle naturally start to line up. You can give it a little bit of wheel left with the angle we currently have and steer back into it to get the tractor straight at the trailer. 
Now we can do the straight back. This is actual footage of a straight back. It's getting away a little bit on the left. I'm gonna give it some wheel left. It's responded. I'm going to come back from that until we're in a straight position, which we now are. The wheel is now straight. The trailer is getting away on the right side. I'm going to give it wheel right to fix it. Go over just a little bit and come back once the trailer is in line with the lane. Now the wheel is straight. The vehicle is straight. It's getting away on the left, so I'm going to give it wheel left while not hitting a hard wall. Watching the cones. I see the trailer starting to respond. I've come back over to make it straight the trailer by giving it a counter wheel left. We're now straight. It's getting away on the left again. I'm going to give it wheel left. I let it go over a little bit, then come back right. Then wheel straight. I'm behind all of my cones. Now I can do my final get out and look and verify that I'm all the way inside the lane. Okay, I've used three points of contact facing the cab to do my get out and look. I'm looking at my orientation using the inside of my cones as a reference. It appears the mirror is in all the way. The requirement is to put the bumper past these cones and using the inside of the cones as a reference, it appears that the mirror and the entire vehicle are in with some slight error in straightness. All in all, it's in position and I can end my maneuver going back inside and honking. While I'm setting up for my next maneuver, I just want to go over a couple of tips. When you're going forward, turn the wheel left, it makes the wheel turn left, the entire control of the vehicle veers to the left. Same is true when I turn it to the right. When you turn the wheel right and going backwards, it makes the vehicle go left. When you turn the wheel left, it makes the vehicle go right going backwards. Here is some footage of wheel left and the trailer is going over to the right. Here is some footage of turn the wheel right and the trailer, once it catches up to straight position, will go over to the left. I catch up to that with wheel left. The vehicle is now straight again. All right, you just finished your straight back. Now it's time for the offset. I'm going to show you how to do it. First, we're doing the left offset. So we want to use the wheel right all the way to make the trailer go over to the left. There's a few ways determining what kind of angle you want. You can look at it in degrees, seconds, or landing gear crossbar. What you see right now is approximately 50% of the landing gear crossbar visible. I was going backwards for about three to four seconds. You can also look at marker tape. Use whatever kind of safe mark you want to use as a reference. I'm going to give it a counter steer because I think I've given it ample angle. We are left all the way until your tractor is straight with your trailer. It looks like everything is lined up nicely, and now I can proceed straight back to close the distance. Scenario. You were attempting to get a good angle, and you didn't give it enough angle. You paused while you were turning the wheel to come back into straight line. And you were obviously not set up for the lane. Take a moment to pause, get out and look safely if you have to. Then, give it more wheel right for just a little longer, or repeat what you initially did in the same angle as before. Pause, turn your wheel, and get back in line. 
once you're in line, pause, analyze your angle. It appears I'm now clear to proceed straight back. Scenario. You gave it too much angle entirely. This would be an example of too much angle. I'm going to come back, wheel left all the way. When we're straight, we cannot see the cone for the lane we're trying to go into, and we can tell our positioning is obviously off. You can fix this with a pull up, or going back to starting position and trying again. You can also go wheel left all the way and keep it after you've hit your straight position. Pause. Come back slowly. Until you're in your straight position and make whatever adjustments you need. Scenario, your angle is off as you're coming into the entrance of the lane. This is an example of an angle that's a little off. You can hop out, have a look safely, make a plan and adjust for it there. Pull up. I'm doing wheel left all the way. Initially, this catches up the trailer, so straight the lane. My objective is to lead the trailer wheels over more to the left. Once I think it was enough distance, wheel right all the way. The trailer is beginning to line up. Line up your tractor with the trailer in a straight position. Now, I only need to use a little wheel left. Come back into a straight line. Check out my angle. And go from there. Scenario. The trailer's coming over too close to the right hard wall. Give a wheel right all the way. You can also safely use a get out and look. Come up with a plan and observe the problem. Now we can see the trailer is beginning to line up with the orientation and straightness of the lane. Wheel left to catch up. Now straight off your trailer, still too close to the hard wall. Pull up and fix it. You're leading your trailer wheels over to the left. This is about a foot or two. You go right all the way to get the trailer straight with the lane and wheel left to catch up with your trailer. You're now ready to do a straight back. Some quick tips for your offset back. Pause every time you're straight with your trailer. Make a plan for what you want to do next. Another tip is turn your offset into a straight back. The final position you're looking for with your offset is mirrors on the inside of your hard wall. Do not be on the hard wall. Front bumper in between the second and third cones. One, two, neutral, brakes. I've used a three point of contact exit facing the cab. Look at my orientation. Using the inside of the cone as a reference. The mirror is in, and in between the second and third cones, front bumper, inside the cones, the mirror is in. 
At this point, you can go back inside, honk your horns, and end your maneuver for the left offset. You've completed your offset. Now it's time to do your passenger side parallel park. Use all of your available space pulling forward before turning the wheel. Look out for foot traffic and other traffic. Get ready to come into line and set up for your starting position. Keep any space you prefer from the cones. Watch your mirror to line up your trailer wheel with your cone. You can now begin your maneuver. To do your passenger side parallel, wheel left all the way. Make the right side of your trailer go over to the right. Shift to reverse. We're looking for something very similar that we were looking for in the offset. Okay, I'd like to try this angle. Pause while you turn the wheel all the way right. Until your vehicle is in a straight angle. This angle looks good. I'm going to proceed with the next step. The next step for your passenger side parallel is to roll it straight back. There are multiple things to look out for, like your positioning, your marks, and your landmarks, two of which I can tell you are making a line, where your outer rear cone, your outer front cone are, making a line with that, lining up your drive side trailer wheel with that, at which point you give it wheel right all the way. Another one, depending on your angle, if you have an angle similar to this, you can roll it straight back until the passenger side of the trailer is five feet away from the hard wall. I've now hit that mark with my trailer wheel. The tail is a perceived five feet away from the right hard wall. At this point, I'm going to give a wheel right all the way. Scenario. Your starting angle is crooked. Just keep an eye out for it. Steer it to the corresponding side. In this case, it would be wheel left to make the right side of the trailer go over to the right. Line up my orientation before doing my maneuver. Scenario. You've given it too much angle. You're coming in too sharply to the hard wall. The safest thing to do is to do a safe get out and look, go verify the situation, or go back to beginning. You can also pull up wheel straight. This will naturally lessen the angle at the risk of bringing you closer to the front cones. At a distance like this, or about 15 feet away from the front cone, you can try it again with a little bit of wheel right. About a turn or so. This will help you adjust that angle, get back in line with it with the wheel left. You can use the wheel straight at this point now that your vehicle angle is straight. You can proceed with your maneuver following the previously covered steps. Scenario, your angle was too shallow. And when you line up your vehicle, the angle doesn't look right. And upon attempting to roll it straight back, it doesn't go in as far as you'd like. This all results in you running your distance and end up hitting the rear cone. Pull up, wheel straight. A 
until you're about five to 10 feet away from your front cone. Give it more wheel left backwards. Repeat what you did the first time. Get straight with your trailer. This should roughly be the angle you were looking for. When your wheel has hit the mark you were looking for, wheel right all the way, until your trailer lines up generally the orientation of your lane, or your passenger side drive wheels are about 66 degrees away from the hard wall in a degree comparison. If it's more than 66 or 65, it's too much angle and too much wheel right was used. Scenario, too much wheel right was used. The degree anglage of your drive wheels is too aggressive or it's heading directly for the hard wall. It's already rolled across the hard wall or is encroaching upon it. The trailer is bowing out to the left already too much wheel right was used. Find your wheel straight position, pull forward, lessen up your angle, and try coming back with wheel left a little earlier at this time. scenario, you do not use enough wheel right, your angle is too shallow, or you're too far away from the hard wall. If you have the room for it, away from your hard wall, lessen up your angle, attempt to roll it straight back, reapply wheel right, keep an eye on the angle of your drives, wheel left, all of the way and stop before coming to the end of your lane. You should roughly be in position. You can also pull out, try again, or at that point pull forward and try to steepen the angle. I'm going to show you how to pull out and steepen the angle. Go in a little deeper on that wheel left. Look for the mark. When you hit the mark, wheel right all the way. Keep an eye on those drives. Once you hit that 66 or 65 degree angle, wheel left all the way. Keep an eye on how everything is going and stop before you get to the end of your lane. You should roughly be in position. Feel free to use your last pull forward to clean anything up you think is important. Hop out, have a look to confirm your position. I've safely exited the cab using three points of contact facing the cab to complete my get out and look. Using the inside of my cone as a reference point to make sure I'm all the way in the box, the mirror and the overall vehicle is inside. I'm within the borders, the front cones, and the rear cones. Checking my passenger side. The vehicle is all the way in. Using the reference point of the inside of the cones, I can easily see that the mirror is tucked inside. You can hop back in, blow your horn to end your maneuver. Practice these, manu practice these maneuvers, you can pass your test. Here is some supplementary information. So you've completed your maneuver, you pass your test, or you're parallel parked in the real world. Now, reason for these borders is a truck with the trailers in front of us and behind us. This is the trailer, that's the truck back there. You want to back up safely.
straight angle a little bit to the right stop before reaching the border shift forward wheel left all the way and pull out safely if you're resetting up for your original position wheel straight at this point check out your position wheel right when it's appropriate to set up your angle for your trailer wheel left to make your tractor strafe your trailer your position should be ready to go with a little bit of rolling backwards included so you pass your maneuvers and you're now ready to go on to the driving portion for a manual i'm going to cover shifting first off the engine is on everything is normal air is built up to a good level flashers are on so are lights everyone around you can see you can remain safe while you're operating next off is clutching 160 driving academy we cover double clutching a clutch action is this we do that twice Shift in to go into a gear. Clutch out gently to begin moving. Clutch in, go to neutral, clutch out, clutch in, go to a gear. Clutch out to re-engage your movement. Clutch in, go to neutral, clutch out, clutch in, re-engage your gear, clutch out gently to re-engage your movement. This is an example of dumping the clutch. Dumping your clutch is an unsafe maneuver and can injure you and your passengers. This is a total view of a double clutching while moving forward. Be in your gear. Gently let off your clutch to engage movement. Bring up your RPMs to 1500. Clutch in, neutral. Clutch out, go up a gear. If you miss your timing, bring up your RPMs before clutching it into gear. If you miss your timing, RPMs up before clutching into gear. So you've upshifted and the vehicle is moving. It's harder to get something to come to a stop than it is to get it going. First, we wait for our RPMs to get down to 10 or 1,000 right here. Clutch neutral, gas up, clutch it into gear. As you have the clutch in and you're in neutral, your vehicle is naturally going to slow down. Let RPMs come down to 10, clutch gas, neutral, Clutch it in to gear. This is third gear. RPMs are coming down to 10. RPMs are at 10. That's downshifting. Scenario, you've lost a gear while upshifting. And your RPM's a little bump. Clutch it into gear. The vehicle tells you 
how many RPMs it wanted when you put it into gear. Scenario, you've lost a gear while shifting down. Bump up your RPMs to the RPM it wanted and clutch it into gear.